Tonight we are bringing you an interactive and engaging session with youth from Kamboi Presbytery, Kamboi Parish, Metahato Congregation. This is the place that I spent my youth Sunday and it was a wow fellowship. It was a big service. Uh, the guys that prepared wonderful drama, music, and of course they got to raise a lot of money. But of course I'm not going to tell you how much, lest you begin SMSing them uh, and uh, telling them to pay their for your Fuliza. Uh, but uh, we're going to have an interactive session in here. We're just going to have a discussion uh, on the theme that is considered Jesus. And the guys are going to ask a few questions a little bit later. And so welcome to this journey. Why don't you welcome our CAC TV viewers who are watching uh, this journey, journey, journey. As I also take the opportunity to welcome my chairman here, Bazoom Wenyewe. Atatuambia jina lake. Alafu, very quickly, you're going to point out your other officials. Mtu wanafanya tu mkono hivyo. Because uh, this big ship, lazima ikona captain a crew. So as the captain, why don't you introduce the rest of the crew? Yes, so let me first greet the viewer. Yes. Wherever they are watching us from. Mm. It's a pleasure. And we are honored to have, of course, Reverend Tony among us. Uh, my name is Peter Modoy. I am the current youth chairman, PCA Metahato Church in Kamboi, mm. and uh, I'm privileged to be serving alongside uh, my friend John Duo here, who mm -hmm. is our secretary. Uh -huh. Makofi kwa secretary. <laughs> Asante. And uh, Purity there, who is my vice chair lady. Uh -huh. Kindly Makofi lift your hand. Purity. Right? Asante, Purity. We've got our treasurer somewhere around there. Uh -huh. There Treasure he is. Asante. Wilson Corio is his name. And then there is Sarah Washeke, who is a Karanja's vice, yes. vice chair. Yeah. So let me take this opportunity to also welcome you okay. officially. Okay. And to say it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. And we are honored. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Baramotoi. Makofi kwa chairman wetu. By the way, tuungoza vizuri sana, 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 sana. Sideo? Makasherehe ikabamba. Lakini sasa nyinyi ya mkuu wa mnanduru na nasikianga ikibamba sana mnawika lakini sasa sikusikia mkiwika lakini nafikiri ni kwa sababu mlikuwa church na mlikuwa mwambiwa ya kwamba church amuiki sana si ndio Lakini hapo hivi uko na freedom ya kuweka ikishika sana unawi? unawika eh hey, unawika unasema hallelujah Amen so very wonderful let me actually begin from um, a very interesting point the treasurer wetu bwana Korio i understand that this guy is running for MCA Yes yeah Una yes. Yes, I know. Uh -huh. And uh, we are actually rallying behind him. Yes. And of course, praying for him. Yes. We actually hope he's going to clinch that. Uh -huh. Because I think leadership should be defined by God, eh? by yes. godliness. Yes. So we ought to have people that are more inclined to church, uh -huh. being in leadership. Yes. Ndiyo tumaliza ma stories of corruption, kubebo ufala na malidas, na vitu kama hizo. Wewe, we, na baadhi yao kitu ikuwa gipo asindo. Ivo na sema kubeba ufala maze mbaka tu vya ina sound, yeah. But let us actually begin our conversation this evening. Before we even ask Bwana Kori yoku anini and attack Kurane Mzie and why you know he thinks that he can make a difference kama vile chairman and sema here as a leader. Let me ask you guys a question. What do you think about youth taking positions of leadership in this country? Who wants to respond to that? What do you think about people like Koryo and yourself and others in other places? Kuchukua uongozi, and especially we are talking about political leadership in this country. You, you, uh, somebody shoot up your hand, shoot up your hand so that you can get the mic. And re let's respond to that issue, to that question. Leadership na youth in this country, what is your take? Shoot up your hand somebody so that you get the mic. Asante sana. Oh, that is our vice chair, Ukiyonge Unasimama, so that uh, you're uh, properly captured. Hello. Hi. So I think the youth should really take up those positions because, like, from the beginning, Moses, mm -hmm. God chose them as very young people. Yes. And so as, as young as we are, I believe yeah. God has given us the mandate to lead. Mm -hmm. And... To lead with an open mind and a, and a mind that mm -hmm. that God has given us. The, yani God has given a chance to be able to be young people. Yes. So we ought to take up the responsibility. Kila mtu, kama, if that mm -hmm. is your calling, actually. Yes. Because not all of us are called to be teachers, 
mm-hmm. business people. Yeah. We are called also to to be in politics and to make a difference. Mm-hmm. So I believe as young people, wherever you are, you can do it. Okay, you can step in because there is an opportunity to offer leadership. You can actually give yourself to offer that leadership, isn't it? Okay, and that is beautiful. And wakati nasema hivo, I'm thinking about First Timothy chapter 4 verse 12. And nasema, let nobody, let nobody despise you, but be what? An example, isn't it? Be an example to the others. So kuna mtu mwingine nataka kusema uh, something about youth and leadership. Our sister, Vice Your Lady, anatombe about take the responsibility. Take the responsibility. Is there someone else you want to say something about that? Youth and leadership. What should we do? Um, okay, just like I'll second what she said. Yes. People like Moses, there's Jeremiah, who mm-hmm. was called even when he was uh-huh. young. So we should, no one should despise you. You're small, you're hot. Yes. If you're having that calling and you see he's, he started it from church. Him. Yes. Uh-huh. So he can be a good leader. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever found yourself in a place ambako uli feel ya kwamba I hapa hivi na I can do something here. Siezi acha hii situation ikiwa hivi ama watu wakakupoint wakasema what is your name? I'm Muthoni Mwora. Wakasema Muthoni see please you kuja utusaidie hapa. Why you have you ever been called upon by people who wasaidia ku organize kitu ama ku ku settle ku sort out issues? Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. It's cool. In school? Yeah. Where was that? High school? No, um, at college. In college. Yeah. So what was that like? Okay, it was... I felt honored at first. And, okay, I was going to go, but... Groups were ahead to... Yes, like what was that responsibility? Okay, to arrange the class and organize it. Uh, to, to, uh, sorry, somebody will take care of that, I believe. Y- yes, you can go ahead. Okay, it was to organize the class. Aha. Uh-huh. So we'll part into pairs and do something before the teacher comes. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow, so th- there was a sort of a chaos before the, <laughs> the, t- the lecturer comes. And so guys are calling upon you to help bring order. Yeah. Did they know you're from PC when they were doing that? And uh, maybe they said, We want to watch Acha Mutaratara. Atueke Mutaratara. Uh, not really. Uh, of course, I can imagine that. So thank you very much, Mudoni Mwara. And uh, I, I trust that that responsibility went well and it's left you a better person. Isn't it? Okay. So, so prob- let's hear something from this side. Eh? Uh, he, he said uh, somebody to just say, say something about youth and leadership. Uh, should we take leadership? Ama tunastahili tu kutake backseat, tuangalie tu mambo, ikienda south, ikienda south. If you west, you the west. I see to back you complain. What should we do? You want to say something? Give him the mics to say something about it. Okay, so, so in case they don't want to say something about that, uh, thank you for those responses. Why don't you tell me about Koryo Mwenyewe? Koryo, when you want to be MCA? Simama, 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 Simama. And... Uh, if you need to change position, you can, yeah, sit there, you can, okay. Ah, acha muheshimua basi, karibi hapa. Atombie, kwa nini unataka kuwa kuwa MCA? Okay, Santeni, mm-hmm. first of all, to our viewers, I'm Wilson Corey, aspiring MCA Ngewa, and also a... That is Ngewa Ward. Ngewa Ward, in Iko Kiambu County, kwa Iko Kiambu County, kwa Kina... And I should not be told by anyone that I'm campaigning for Koryo. <laughs> Amen. Yes. So, first uh-huh. of all, leadership is a calling. Mm-hmm. Na, the book of Proverbs, I think, Reverend, that I'm happy. I think Proverbs 29, verse 2, in Asemanga, uh-huh. when the righteous are in authority, yes. people rejoice, but when the wicked drive, people groan. Uh-huh. Uh, even by politics, yes. I've observed it. I've been following politics for the last like 15 years. I last that, 15 years? Uh, how old are you? Last, I'm, I'm 27, <laughs> but I have followed politics for, I think it's even more than that. Okay. From 2002, when I was in class one, I knew that Kibaki was entering in the, the president. So uh-huh. I can say it's a calling because this, this is not um, something that you can force. Yes. So you've observed. Especially in Gewa Ward, we've, mm-hmm. see, we've seen the leadership that has been there. 
Mm-hmm. First of all, it's so you, you, why, why do you want to be a leader yourself? Uh, let's let's I, just go to that. I want to fill the gaps that I've seen in leadership uh-huh. for yes. the last five years. What are you going to do for the people? First of all, I want to attack the the manifesto in a way that I will influence the lives of those who are learned and those who are not, uh-huh. the aged and the young. Yes. I, I don't know whether I'm not supposed to give my manifesto right now, <laughs> but I can touch on one thing. Yes. We have, we have a group in a place called Giyagezu, mm-hmm. where the guys had written a proposal on how they can feed the whole world with water from the, the rivers. Yes. And they were taking it from the point of the coffee factories in this area. Uh-huh. That proposal has been sleeping in the county government for the last five years. Okay. And it was a very affordable proposal. Uh-huh. They were taking it from the former Nyakiri co- Coffee Society. Okay. And each coffee society was supposed to feed a thousand homesteads. Mm-hmm. Each, so each in other words, you're going to, like, uh, as you're saying, to look into some of those gaps and yes, see and how you can be a blessing the, to the people yes. of Ngewa Ward. Yes. Now, what do you think, what, what are the plans that you have concerning young people, youth like this, Ambao Wako Apa? I have a uh, 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 plans mingi sana kuhusu, uh, kuhusu my youth. Uh, Ata wengine wao wanajua due to the current level of unemployment yeah. both locally and globally. Yes. The world is going online. Mm-hmm. And most of them know that I've been doing online jobs, I've been doing transcription and online writing. Mm-hmm. So uh, I've even trained some of them mm-hmm. and hoping that given the opportunity, yeah. because these are things that need resources, mm-hmm. for example, to open a resource center, it needs computers or desktops. Okay. But when you are in the government, you are able to rally for such initiatives. Uh-huh. For the youth to ensure, because unemployment is the major problem facing okay. the youth here. Okay. All right. Does that, how does that sound? It sounds visionary, right? Ah, yeah, let's uh, clap for him. And uh, Cody, of course, wants to wish you the very best to Napo. I uh, end a katika your political journey. And of course, um, uh, Sema Akwamba, you know, from the book of Proverbs, it is true, the scripture in Sema Akwamba, that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people mourn. Kwa sababu ya tabu na shida ambazo ziko. And in considering Jesus as young people, I believe one of the things ambazo scripture inatufundisha na inaza to challenge is about our capacity and our ability to respond to the issues ambazo zina confront our societies because scripture inasema that we are a light and we are salt, isn't it? That we are the light of the world and we are the salt of the earth. And therefore, one of the ways in which we can consider Jesus is being able to take responsibilities in leadership. Na your leadership siyo lazima ikuwe ni katika politics, na siyo lazima hata ikuwe ni level ya campus. Leadership is just that ability to influence people in a certain direction. And for us as Christians, is to influence people in a godly direction. Whether ni mtumoja, ama ni class moja, ama ni wadi mzima, ama ni group ya youth fellowship in a parish, ama pali pengine popote ambako unaweza kujipata. Now, let me ask us uh, some very quick questions hapa, ambazo tulikuwa to discuss during the first day of the youth, youth week, that is last week on Monday, and I hope you got an opportunity. Lakini kama hamu kupata opportunity, uh, let's, let's think about these questions uh, briefly. The first question to Likua to Meuliza, to whom is the author speaking? In other words, in the book of Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. I kitabu ama e, verse, ni nani walikuwa wanaambiwa wafanya consideration ya Jesus, who is the apostle and the high priest. Did you get to read that chapter? Did you get to read that verse? Or at least you even got to hear about it today. Sindio? So, Bona Secretary, uh, who, do you, who, who was the apostle writing? Uh, this 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 letter. Um, thank you. you, you yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chungaji, uh, um, for for the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, for Hebrews it was Paul writing to the Hebrewani or the, uh, the Hebrew yeah, the guys. Jews, yes. yes. The Jews and uh, yeah. we had we had an exposition on Tuesday with our school's chaplain, uh-huh. uh, Reverend Don, at that time, and uh, oh, wow. we we were in involved in. 
Paul when he was yes. talking to, to the Hebrews. Okay. Mnafaa muangalie nani? Is it God? Is it Jesus? Ama mnaabudu wengine? Mnaabudu nani? It's about turning to our God. Okay. Through through Christ. Yes. You've talked of Christ being godly na pia kuwa in the form of man. Mm. So since Christ Jesus came in a form of man, mm-hmm. we are able to to see him, we are able to to have a clear picture of what he means uh-huh. to us, the kind of blessings that he has into us, yeah. and also moving forward, we can be able to to go after him, look after his teachings. Mm-hmm. What is he telling us? What can we do? Yeah. What programs can we try to let's say now now getting into the real world we as youths mm-hmm. exactly because that is actually the second part of the question you can just go right ahead and answer it yes how do we fit in as recipients of that message now continue with that okay thank yes. you <laughs> yes <laughs> yes so now after considering now we as the young people here for mm-hmm. example let me take uh, this chance yeah uh, we have a very big challenge with uh, drug and substance abuse mm-hmm. we are losing a lot of friends a lot of people we've learned with yes. they're getting into drugs we are trying to to bring them in and uh, mm-hmm. actually earlier in the week we had a challenge bring yeah. one yes bring that friend of yours mm-hmm. by the way kuja tu tuonge yeah kuja tu hapa kuna ka fellowship flani mm-hmm. we want to do some games we yeah. want to do some programs there is a movie night there is mm-hmm. trivia there is some team building mm-hmm. and the most important thing if you want to bring the youth together yeah after you bring them through the activities now we come to the word Mm-hmm. Yesu amekuwa na wewe he ajai kuacha as Joshua 1:5 says he never leave you he'll never forsake you so it's your turn mm-hmm. he has been with you kwa pale mdogo mm-hmm. now you're a youth mbona uji west it's mm-hmm. time to get back to church you do the right thing mm-hmm. and ensure that the law that alikutoa pale chini yeah. pia mahali ambapo umeingia atakupeleka pazuri mm-hmm. and you be able to move forward thank you oh much. wow appreciate our secretary here in fact uh, amejibu part ya kwanza mpaka kajibu part ya pili uh, because that is exactly what you are asking kwa sababu like how do because that time ni ni the hebrews walikuwa wanaandikiwa and as much as sometimes uh, kuna wale wanasema the book is written by paul others wanasema it's not paul well it's not written it, it's i uh, indicate yenyewe ni nani aliandika kitabu cha hebrews but the audience is not in question walikuwa ni jews lakini sasa hapa hivi we are not jews we are from ones we are from twos we are from fours we are first years we are dating we are courting we are married we are entrepreneurs we are political leaders so how do we fit in this message of considering jesus which takes us to the second question what does it mean to consider jesus in other words uh, what does it what does someone who is considering jesus look like mtu mwenye unaweza kusema i think this guy is considering jesus in their life or i think uh, you know this high school student is considering jesus mtu mwenye na consider jesus ni mtu mwenye life yake inakaaje what are some of the things that you can see in a person's life because when somebody for example is considering drugs eh what are some of the signs and symptoms you will see ati ati tunaona nini like what shall you see in somebody who is considering drugs seriously and see you could consider to so that person yeah uh, the person the, his appearance yes it would be like his daddy cannot be able to ex, uh, explain uh-huh. it uh, yeah hazina maana exactly eh yeah. you know not able to walk in a straight line yes. And I understand two things don't walk in a straight line a pig and a drunk person I don't know whether <laughs> that is true a tinguru never walks in a straight line so okay so what else might you see in somebody who is considering drugs my brother in a tie mtu mwenye ame consider my drugs seriously uh, macho macho red uh-huh uh, lugha yake yaeleweki vizuri uh-huh kutusiana hivyo matusi eh because your drug is not functioning well uh-huh yeah. oh yeah of course i mean these are some of the things that we know isn't it ni vile hatuna time ya kuyachambua yote to look at all these signs and symptoms okay i was only coming through that route ndio tulizane what about somebody who is considering jesus what does somebody who is considering jesus and walking with jesus how does that person look like kama mwenye mtu mwenye ana consider drugs na ana walk na drugs 
Anaka Ivo. What about the person who is walking with Jesus, considering Jesus as a young person in our world today? Sister, do you want to tell us something? You have the mic there. Yeah, please, go ahead. Tell us your name and you go on. Okay, my name is Shikunanga. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone that is considering Jesus. Okay, you'll see that the characters are a never give up attitude. A That's, never give up attitude, very important. Yes, go yeah. on. So, with that. Uh huh. Like, where when you were uko, uko, at what stage of uh, education are you? I'm at college, but part time working. You're in college and you're in part time working. What are, what are some of the issues that maybe you go with in the place of work that you feel like if I if I don't consider Jesus, some of these challenges, some of these issues in Isaacua and Gorizana, but because I got Jesus, I can handle. The first thing I can say. You can use the mic well. Okay. Yes. To come a temper zero. Uh huh. Okay. You see, my amka asubui. Someone has come with she does that. Okay. We call then I'm afraid to temper that. Okay. We are desk when I shanga radaya ko ni gani. So ille a ukendo kumongele she just say okay you are at work. I na ukimongelesha vibaya. Uh huh. Kuna pa una mshara. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so you find uh, in such a situation, Nepal you know, to come and see Jesus. Nowadays, now I'm going to work with him God too. Eh, I'm going to God maze. So up here to say, Shiro, come and see your God. Kuna vile mambo inaweza kuwa mbaya. Okay, so thank you very much. Shiro has said a very important thing that somebody who is considering Jesus, uh, she she actually talked about character. And she talked about a never giving up attitude. And is it true that a lot of young people are giving up and have already given up? We have read so many stories of uh, young people who have committed suicide. And like if Koryo, I don't know whether you know the statistics around because there was a time uh, around this area, Hakukuwa na Mambo Mazuri Sana, one young man, another young man. And then you wonder like, oh, what is not happening? But in considering Jesus, you know, a never giving up attitude. So somebody else want to tell us another thing, another character, yeah, someone who is considering Jesus. How does that person look like? Yes, you can shoot up your hand if you want to talk so that we give you the mic quickly. Yes. So I'm um, Kellen Mboy. Kellen, yes. So for me, I'm in high school right now. Uh -huh. So in cons uh, for me... In school, there's yes. a, lot, a lot of peer pressure. Yes. So for a person who is considering Jesus, mm -hmm. you can be able to tell at school, tell uh, to advise people to consider Jesus in avoiding peer pressure because peer pressure mm -hmm. uh, especially in uh, like in school, yes. a lot of people have gone home because of peer pressure, mm -hmm. entering into bad groups. Yeah. It's a challenge in school, mm -hmm. but. Uh, yeah. uh, instead of doing this, you can also do this. Yeah. Yes, a group, mm -hmm. yeah. but at the same time, uh -huh. so you have to consider this other side of Jesus, uh -huh. considering Jesus in your life. Wow, awesome. Why don't you appreciate Kellen right over there? Yeah, somebody else, you, you want to say something? Okay, uh, the sister there, she wants to say something. Say your name, then uh, what does it look like to consider Jesus? Hello. Um, now Mindua. Ukiwa hapo nyuma unaweza kusimama ndio uonekane vizuri. Hello. Hi. My name is Naomi. And for someone considering Jesus, maybe you are working. When you are at work, you'll have many discouragements and if you don't have work like you have finished school, you will have uh, you need to believe in yourself. Mm. And if you have Jesus, you can do anything. But there are some people who have they understand themselves that they are capable of starting their own businesses, mm -hmm. but they don't believe in their, themselves. Mm -hmm. But if you have God in you, or if you consider God, you, God will give you the strength to start something. Mm -hmm. You will surely believe in yourself that if I start this, then I'll have something in the future. Mm -hmm. Because I believe 
if we want to create opportunity, yeah. one can start a business. And when that business tree, then you can employ somebody. You have created a, uh, an employ employment opportunity. Mm. But you have to start considering Jesus to give you the strength, even if you have fear. Mm -hmm. But if you have God, the fear will be overcome. So Amen. for anybody believing herself, one that have to consider Jesus. Uh -huh. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's appreciate our sister right there. Uh, you know, uh, Kellen here is talking about the ability to influence people from uh, being overtaken by negative peer pressure. And it is true. And statistics are out. And data is out. And these are facts that, especially people who start using drugs, wananzanga during high school years. People who are introduced into immoral uh, sexuality, a lot of it begins during high school days. Wale ambao wengi wanafanya mambo ya gambling, eventually wanaishi maisha tu ya, you know, kufuatana na hizo vitu za patapotea, never learning the discipline of hard work, that it begins there. People who become addicted to media, it starts there because... One of the things ni akwamba, our brain is under development until the age of 25. And so when somebody is under 25 and you have uh, too much, I mean way too much screen exposure, even your brain development is uh, interfered with because your brain gets used to uh, the fast moving lane, you know? You know, from from one color to another, from one scene to another. You're just watching exciting things. PS4, you know, kitchen's a game. And real life doesn't happen like that, isn't it? Real life is so slow. Real life begins by wake up at five, take a birth, take breakfast, <laughs> catch a mat, go to school report, you know, give the assignment that we are supposed to do, isn't it? But pale evoke was screen, unona jama, meamka, papa, papa, amengi ya chopa, amenda job, by 11, amemaliza ini kazi yo siku, alafu with next scene, unawanyesho na TV, seven years later. Real life iko na kituka yo. Real life haina seven years later. Real life ina happen a day at, at a, at a time. And so as well, uh, you know, apart from being able to overcome that negative peer pressure, there is also that very important aspect of building courage because this is where uh, you also make a difference in your life. This is the time, it is statistics also, those who come to Jesus by the age of 21 are more likely in life to be bold and courageous when it comes to the issues of life, more than those who come to Christ that is being born again after the age of 21. Why? Because when you're young, you receive Christ with a lot of humility, with a lot of innocence, and it is called the incorruptible word of God. When somebody is much more mature, there is a, a significant number Ya watu ambao who come to Jesus because life imewagonga. Amen. Wanajaribu, you know, kupata job, wanaona hawapati job. Wamejaribu kuwa, kuolewa, wanaona hakuna venye mambo inakam. Ama wamejaribu uh, some other criminal, criminal things, sapa na pale, wameona haiwa, kwa nasema, hey, kafaa jesu. But when you begin with him when you're free and clean and innocent, the pro probability of you being a courageous and bold person are much, much, much higher. So do you see there is a tremendous reason for us to consider Jesus when we are young, isn't it? Like personally, I got born again when I was in Form 1. When I joined Form 1, there was a weekend challenge in Kijabe Boys uh, High School. That is where I went to school. Then the, 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 that very first weekend challenge, that is when I gave my life to Jesus and... It has been a good journey, challenges, but exciting and victorious above all. So let's uh, go to the next question because of our time. Uh, and still looking at Hebrews chapter 3 verse 1, there are two terms ambazo inatumia could describe Jesus. One of them is apostle. You've read that, right? Apostle. The other one is what? High priest, isn't it? So what do you think, who is an apostle? When you hear apostle, what, what do you think? And, or, or let me ask, who is an apostle? 
who, who is an apostle? Some, somebody want to say something? Who, who is an apostle? We, we know, of course, the Bible talks about the, the fivefold ministry. You have read about that in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4. It talks about who? That Christ gave unto the church, the apostles. Who else? Uh, the prophets. Then evangelists. I am trying to just come at them in order. Alafu, the, 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 the teachers and the pastors. So kuna apostles, prophets, evangelists, teachers, and pastors. So what does it mean to be an apostle? Do you know who an apostle is? Who wants to say who an apostle is? Someone want to tell us who an apostle is? Uh, pass the mic, somebody. Apostle Ninani. I think the one sent by Jesus to continue with his mission. Uh-huh. Of course, that is, that is very true. Like Jesus had 12 apostles, isn't it? Well, I don't want, you to, I don't want to ask you their names uh, on camera. I don't want to ask you their names on camera. The second apostle, a tattoo, the third apostle. Ah, I don't want to ask you their names on camera. <laughs> yeah, Jesus had 12 apostles, isn't it? So now, when the Bible says that Jesus was an apostle, naile tunaona in scripture is that Jesus mwenyewe ndiye alikuwa na apostles pia. So what did Jesus do with the apostles? What did Jesus do with the apostles? Mpe maika jibu hiyo na hiyo 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 ni hiyo kikombea maji. Jesus alifanya nini na hawa apostles? Ali wasan. Ali waambia aenda akawapea na wakahubiri njili yake. Aha. Ongea na mic vizuri. Wakahubiri njili yake. Aha. Inahitajika kwa watu kwa sehao wengine. So Jesus aliambia hawa say 12 um, eventually Judas alijiondoa waende waka preach the gospel. So can we say that an apostle is someone who is sent? An apostle is actually a sent one, isn't it? Yeah. So what does it mean that Jesus was now the apostle? Is our apostle. Who sent Jesus? His father. His father, isn't it? So, and just like Jesus sent the twelve, akawambia endeni mukambia wa say about me, and that is what we call the good news. So God must have sent Jesus to bring us the good news, isn't it? So if God is a sender, Jesus is the apostle, the next question is, what news was he told to bring? Okay, can we hear from somewhere behind there? The lady, the, the, the sister in red there can, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, next to you, next, next to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. What news did Jesus bring? Tell us your name. Alafu tuambia, uyu aposto na hitu wa Jesus, alitumwa na message gani? Mm, penina, I think Jesus was sent to us uh, so that he can save us from our sins. Uh, sorry, say that again? Anaeza tukomboa, toka dhambini. Uh -huh. yeah. So he was sent with a message of salvation, isn't it? Yeah. And that is true, right? And of course we see vile alikuja kufanya and how the, 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 the prophets have talk, had talked about him. For example, Isaiah in chapter 53, mali naongea about uh, the suffering Messiah, vile Yesu Christo atatichukua dhambi zetu, magonjua yetu, na pia uh, thawabu ya amani yetu, pia itakuwa juu yake, and therefore it is true that Jesus was sent uh, to bring the good news of salvation to fallen mankind. Another question is, did we need that news? Did we need not that news? So let our sister there in yellow give her the mic. Why did we need to hear such good news of salvation? You can stand so that the mic, uh, the, the, the camera can catch you. Okay, my name is Grace Wanjiko. And uh, good news ni about salvation. Mm -hmm. We needed it so bad. Mm -hmm. Ndiyo, 
tu, tujijue yes. kuobolewe kutoka dhambini yes. na we know more about mm-hmm. god ndio tuweze sasa kuishi vizuri aha yeah. wow thank you very much you can appreciate her uh, uh, you know kwanza she says that we needed that good news like badly you know like we needed it so bad as we begin to come to the end of uh, of, of the time that we have t- uh, tonight um, do we still need that good news today do we still need the message of the apostle today do we still have need for that salvation today do we you, you, you can take a mic and give, give, give our sister the mic there why do we still need that message of that apostle called Jesus today I think you can say, begin by your name my name is Anne Maura yes and I think we need the message of Jesus because the message that Jesus brought to us it delivers and it gives us hope mm-hmm. yes and do you think young people need hope yes what are some of the challenges you think young people are are facing zenye zinawafanya wasikie ni kama they are losing hope okay okay i'll give an example an example yes we need okay the message of jesus gives us hope mm. like nakumbuka last year my dad yes. met ni kama alifiat kukreki uh-huh. and tunakaribia tu KCSC as in i don't know i think alikuwa merekrutiwa to something i don't know sijui mm-hmm. because alikuwa anambia an nikilala naona damu but i know i don't know every time alikuwa anambia skide let's pray skide let's pray skide leo nakufa as in <laughs> she's like leo nakujua usiku she's like let's pray together every time she's like let's pray let's pray and then she gave me testimony after tumefungua as mm. in aliombewa and then everything was fine alikuwa kuna point ilikuwa imefika she was like me na just afanya KCSC mm. but due to god's grace mm-hmm. kuomba hope she did the KCSC na say tunangoja results pamoja and i thank god for that aha wow amen 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 so Yes we do need the message of the apostle the message of salvation the message of deliverance and probably the last question i'm going to ask is uh, we are not even going to discuss the second part of uh, the high priest uh, but let me ask this question as we come to a close just like jesus sent he wo- him he was sent by the father and the scripture inatuonyesha kwamba he fulfilled that which he was sent by god to do isn't it because he came gave his time give his life and completed his mission then he himself when he was ascending into heaven uh, he sent his disciples na those original apostles pia na wao walienda na waka accomplish their mission isn't it do you feel or do you think that we are also called in the same spirit of apostleship so that we can continue spreading this good news to others who are like ours in terms of other young people and even to the ends of the nations do, do you think that so somebody from this side want to tell us something somebody on this you can give the mics to our sister there okay Are you you want to talk okay thank you thank you very much do you feel that we have been sent as well psc in apostles in by jesus okay my name is edith radoni Okay for me I think that we are chosen mm-hmm. because go, uh, Jesus wakatelikujoku mm. he was calling people like the tax collectors yeah we, we kind of have the same calling because mm. si actually we were that perfect yeah they were not that perfect but we can also make ourselves we can yes. also make ourselves somehow perfect to be the apostles that mm-hmm. Jesus <coughs> Okay, so recently, yeah <coughs> we can also be the apostles that Jesus was so uh-huh. used to talking okay so <laughs> understand me. yeah uh, yeah we can be the apostles we can make ourselves perfect and be 
All right, I didn't quite get, get that last part, but uh, you know, I can hear that she's saying that we can also be inheritors of the same spirit of Jesus, the spirit of apostleship, the spirit that delivers to others the message of salvation, the message of deliverance, the message of hope, the message of life, because we, just like the, the Hebrews, there are many things that watu wanaweza kupindukia na wafikiria kwamba msaada wao utatoka wapi utatoka kwa hizo vitu because like these guys who are being told i don't go back to the things that you used to do zamusa na kuchinja mangombe and dam and all that now look at jesus and so i believe that we can say that we are apostles of hope we are apostles of light we are apostles of life we are apostles of uh, a second chance. We are apostles of, uh, apostles of encouragement to others wherever we are, in our high schools, in our campuses, in our places of work, in the public space, in the business world, in the families that we have, and the ones that we shall yet have. So even in your dating, in your courting, you are still going to consider Jesus, isn't it? Amen? Asante ni sana. Basi, I think because of the time that um, was available to this, we're just going to come to the close of that discussion there of considering the theme. But I'm going to ask the, the worship uh, team members, um, where's your team? Mkuje mkae ni kama mtasimama hapa mbele. We are just going to do a worship circle. Uh, we just bless the Lord in one or two songs of worship. Tutasimama too. They come here, uh, lead us in a session of uh, worship, then we have a prayer. We offer ourselves to God. We also want you to use us for your glory in our time and age. In the name of Jesus, as we consider Jesus the apostle and high priest of our profession, isn't it? Thank you very much. God bless you. Let's clap for all of us for participating in that first part. Nasasa to all is the worship team. Waje hapambele, watu ongoze. I wish we can say, we begin by singing like, Bless the Lord, O my soul.
can just take a moment to ask the Lord indeed, God, I want, let your eyes, let your face shine upon me. Let your grace, let your mercy be upon me. I desire to live like one who carries the spirit of the apostleship of Jesus Christ. You have sent me into the world just like Jesus was sent into the world by the Father and he sent the twelve into the world, the, the eleven, and then they replaced Judas. You can also ask God, help me to with, with the same courage. Help my faith. Help my faith, O God, that I may go forth. The apostles never gave up. The apostles never looked back. And the Lord had made them a promise that I am with you. In the knowledge that God is also with you in your high school. He is with you in the campus, in the college, in the Juakali, at the place of work where you're employed or you have your business, in your family or as you plan to start one. That he is with you. That he is with you. That we can carry this spirit, the same spirit as we consider Jesus, we also consider becoming like him and carrying this message. The message of life, the message of hope. They are giving up in life, they are quitting, but God has sent you to them as an apostle. That place that you're in, consider yourself as a sent one by God because you believe in Jesus and the spirit of the Father is upon you. In the name of Jesus, you can also pray for your life in the stage of uh, where you are. And you can ask God for wisdom, for knowledge, for courage, for understanding of the things that pertain to what you are doing. Your studies, your relationship, your career, or, or whatever is important to you at the stage of your life. You can ask God, help me, Father, help me. I never want to look back. I never want to give up, oh God. There is so much ahead of me. There is so much ahead of me. There is so much that you have prepared for me. You have called me to so much. I don't want to give up. I don't want to look back, oh God. I want to keep on pressing on. The apostle said, we keep on pressing on. We press on. We press on. You got to tell yourself, I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit because the one who is in me is greater than the one who is in the world. I may have temptations. I may have tribulations. I may have challenges. I may have shortcomings. I may have frustrations and failures, but I'm not yet going to give up. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving up. And it is a good thing if you can speak it with your own mouth and just tell yourself in the Lord, I'm not about to give up. I'm not about to quit. With God for me, with God on my side, I know I can overcome. I know I can overcome because that is why we got this message that Jesus is the sent one to us and he is with us. He is the high priest who offers prayers and intercessions before the Father for us. We have good company and we have a friend at the right hand of the throne of God and you can call upon him, Jesus, I need you to help me because you said, call upon the Father in my name and tonight I call upon your name. And I wonder if there is somebody here who is not even born again and you're here. You're here because we're not just doing, it's not an activity we are doing. We are in fellowship with the spirit of the father, with the spirit of Jesus, the apostle and high priest. And you could be here, you're not born again. And you want to give your life to Jesus right now. Do we have somebody like that? Would we have somebody like that right here with us? And you're saying, I think this is the day. This is the moment. This is the place. We can pray with you right here, right now, and your life is never going to be the same again. In the absence of that, we just want to thank God so very much because of this uh, opportunity that we have had. Thank you very much, our Cax TV viewers. We have been coming to you this uh, evening from uh, Kamboi Presbytery, Kamboi Parish in Mitahato, uh, PCA Church. That is where I spent my youth Sunday with this wonderful group of guys and a bunch of others have left earlier in the day. But we thank God for this day. And I hope you guys have been blessed and have enjoyed this fellowship. Have you? You can show it with a big clap. Asante, 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 Sana. My big chairman, happy V, all the best uh, together with the secretary, Naviongozi, Awengine, Wote, 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 and everybody. What do we tell our Kax TV viewers to be Aji? To a show Aji? Wabariki, wabariki, eh? Napia hiyo wimbo tunaimba niyo tutatoka nayo sasa. Atuta exit now, tukiambia pia wao, uso wa mungu ukue kwao, macho ya mungu ukue, sindio tunaimba? Otherwise, until next time, may you remain inspired, remain blessed, and stay tuned to CAC TV, the only station worth watching. God bless you.
Yeah, so you can give us that tune as we go off in Jesus' name. Yeah.